everybody, this is uh, Dave from d &E Performance coming to you from the office uh, with another how to get my uh, LS project started with Terminator X. Uh, again, these videos are geared towards the person that just wants to get the car fired up and possibly save a little money on the, uh, on, you know, the dyno. Uh, again, uh, just disclaimer, this is no way to, in any form that I'm showing you how to tune your specific uh, project. Every project is going to be different. This is just based solely on getting the car up and running, and that's it. Again, I want to stress that the 3-inch uh, the three inch handheld is not a tuning device, uh, nor would I start my car on that thing. Um, the most experienced guys out there, uh, and there's quite a few of them, um, they can start their the, those, their cars on on the handheld. But if you have no experience with this software at all, I would not try to start my car on that three-inch handheld. Again, that thing is just a gauge display and firmware update device. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. We're gonna. Of course, we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip the shortcut. We're going to go up here to uh, open our file icon, open global file. Um, I, talked, I talked about this in my last previous videos. Uh, if you still haven't seen that video, just go back and watch it where I show you how to create files. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, so we're going to open this. We're going to go back into our uh, Turbo 24X 4L80. ICF settings, tune file, we're going to open this up and go to our engine parameter icon. So you can see that um, in the last video we did our cam timings. So in the last video we went and we we're talking about our injector phasing and entering our cam timing into our injecto, injector auto uh, phasing uh, tab. So what we're going to talk to talk about today is uh, entering our injector information uh, right here in the fuel injector information um, icon. So in the default, um, there's a set of S FIC 1650s. So whatever injector you're running, um, the easiest and most simplest way to do this is just to use the drop down. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that said that you can just use the drop down. It's uh, just the regular default settings. I've done it in the past. It works. It's fine. Um, to tune your car, these default settings are not going to be right. They're just they're just a ballpark figure, and most likely you're going to have to you, the tuner will actually go in here, and he'll. Um, where it says injector off time, which is your injector dead time, your tuner is going to go in here and set the correct uh, dead times in here uh, so that he can get more accurate in, um, in his tuning. Uh, we do not want to um, uh, we do not want to tune on these uh, dead on these dead times. Um, some of these uh, are pretty close. Uh, but you would want to verify that how close they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in um, and I'll show you how to enter these uh, dead times. And then I can also just show you, you can just use the default. So if you wanted to use the default, all you do is just say you had a set of Snake Eater 1000s. Uh, the Snake Eater 1000s are right here. Uh, SCP uh, 1000 CC injector. So what you would do is you would just click this, and it would it would get you into the default range. Um, what you can do, because there's a little bit of a discrepancy right here, um, you can go in here and linearize this a little bit. So we would need um, we would need these values right here. So if you wanted, you could just highlight that and then fill row values and that will kind of give you more of a linear uh, curve to this uh, just to kind of fix that it shouldn't these values right here are 
at like 8 volts, 8.8 .8 volts, 9.6 volts, most of the time your battery is going to be right, right, it's going to fall right in here in this 12.8 uh, to 12.0 and in the 13 and 14 range. Um, but you can see it, it just by using the, the drop down, it, it populates everything. Um, injector manufacturer. So if you buy a set of injectors and uh, you buy them from a company that supplies you, they should supply you with the data sheet or email you a data sheet or give you some type of information for the injectors. If you buy a set of injectors off of eBay and you don't have this information, you will have to have these. Uh, in order to do this right, you will have to have the injectors sent off and have them flow tested so that you have this information. If you buy a set of injectors and they don't have this information and you can't obtain that information from the seller, I would sell them off or keep them in the corner until you can get them flow tested. Um, it is very important that you have this information. This goes for any EFI system, uh, Haltech, Motec, all, all the, uh, the big players, even uh, HP tuners. Um, you have to have this, in, you have to have this information. Uh, sure, you can throw a set of decapped into a stock GM and make them run, uh, but the but if you decap them, they're gonna they're gonna have a different injector flow rate. They're gonna have a, a d different uh, dead time. The dead times might be close because you can use the factory stuff, but and it's enough to get it you know to where you can make it run. Trying to get it up and running. This this data is very important. Um, this this uh, uh, helps the tuner uh, in dialing your car in. So when you buy a set of injectors, just look for an injector manufacturer that will give you this data. Uh, they should give you this data. There is quite a few companies out there where you can decap a set of you know flex fuel, truck injectors, whatever the case may be, and you can send those injectors off and get them flow tested by these companies. They'll give you a data sheet with all this information on there. They'll give you, let's go ahead and get in. I'm kind of rambling here. Uh, let's go ahead and get in here and I'll, so uh, what I've already shown you, you can use the drop down. Um, it gives you these, uh, these default settings and this is more than sufficient enough to start the car. There's um, more than enough information here. Uh, to start the car. So uh, we had this, the actual system pressure. So the actual system pressure is going to be what the regulator is going to hold back uh, before it returns back to the tank. Go that r route, like I said, just to start the vehicle and move it, you would just you would just click on it and then if there was any discrepancies like there was right here, you can just go in here and linearize. All you do is just uh, highlight it and then right click and then fill row values if you had some spikes somewhere and you know kind of get this um, curve where it needs to be and they should it should look like this so if you click on any one of these other uh, injector let's say the 1650s um, it's gonna it, the curves gonna look something like this um, let's let's try the uh, where's the uh, deca or how about those Bosch 210s? Where are those guys at? Okay, Bosch 210s. So it looks it'll look something like this. It's gonna the the uh, dead time curve is gonna look something like this. You're gonna have this gray graph up here, and you're gonna have this bottom graph down here. Um, let's just say, uh, like I said, you want to smooth out maybe this little area right here. You would just highlight that and then fill row values, and it kind of brings this up a little bit. Uh, but that's the easiest way just to get the, the um, uh, you know, the car up and started. Uh, the okay, so we kind of understand, you know, that we can go in here and use the uh, drop-down menu to uh, just select if, if our injectors are in the drop-down menu. And there's quite a few. Uh, it is a good thing um, if you go and buy the Holly system uh, prior to buying your injectors. And then uh, once you get the Holly system, and then you can kind of go through 
and see what injectors are supported in the Holly system. Uh, this would be the, the more easier uh, way to enter your injector data, um, especially if you end up going with some uh, Terminator X or Holly injectors here. Uh, so uh, I'll just use a, uh, an example here um, so that I can uh, uh, specify the uh, actual uh, system pressure and you know what we need to do as far as uh, where we need to set this. So uh, let's just go down and uh, we'll go ahead and go back to our uh, Snake Eater 1500s. Uh, as you can see, the uh, rated uh, flow per injector. So this is rating the injector at 143 pound uh, per hour injector, and the injector is rated at uh, 43.5 psi. So we need to make sure after we select uh, whatever injector that you have, um, FIC 850s or whatever the case may be, um, that you uh, go in here and uh, set the actual system pressure. So this would be the pressure uh, that is at the, the pressure regulator. Or if you have a fuel pressure gauge, um, you'd you'd want the uh, right here where it says fuel pressure, um, whatever this number is, when you go to key the the vehicle on, and you have a, a fuel pressure um, sensor uh, in into the line somewhere, you'd want this number uh, to be the same up here in the holly. So uh, I'm going to set my pressure regulator at 60 PSI. And I would just go in here and type that. And then that's going to give you the uh, total system fuel flow. So you want to make sure that um, whatever your injectors are rated at, this you need to have this. Uh, the total uh, flow per injector, you need to have this. And then whatever your system pressure or line pressure is, you want to have that. You need to have all three of these things inputted into the Holly so the Holly knows what kind of injector it is controlling. Um, hopefully this uh, information helps somebody out, uh, especially somebody trying to get their project up and going. Um, again, this is Dave with DNE Performance. Uh, appreciate everybody stopping by the channel. And uh, if you can, like, subscribe, smash that bell. You get notifications when I uh, post new videos. And uh, I'll have some more content coming to you. I'm going to I have to split this video up in two segments because it is just too, uh, it's just too much information. Uh, so there's going to be another uh, video on top of this one on how to uh, set the injector uh, dead time and the minimum injector opening time. Uh, we're going to go a little bit more in depth in, the, in, in that realm uh, as far as as far as just somebody not wanting to do that, just go in here and using the drop down menu. Uh, this is the easiest way to do that. Again, this is David Dini Performance, and I will catch you guys on the flip. Thanks. Bye.